in exactly one week from today, I will be hopping on a plane to Italy and heading to my next contract. I feel like this vacation went by so fast. It honestly wasn't that long of a vacation, but it was longer than a break that I've had the past probably two and a half years. Ever since my contract on Adventure, which was the restart contract, I've had really short breaks. So between Adventure and Voyager, I had three weeks. In between Voyager and my Florida contract, I had four weeks. In between the Florida contract and Wonder, I had another four weeks. And this break was about seven or eight weeks. So it was definitely longer, but it still went by so fast. I literally got home from England two days ago. I was there for three weeks, and now I'm heading right back to that side of the world in a week. So needless to say, it's gonna be a very hectic week, but what is life without chaos, you know? There's a lot I need to get done in preparation for my contract. If you haven't seen the announcement, I'm headed to the Explorer of the Seas, which will be based in the Mediterranean. My home port is in Italy, and then we will be cruising around Greece, Montenegro, Croatia. I think we go to Spain. So it's gonna be incredible. I'm very excited, but I'm also very stressed because I have such limited time, but we're gonna figure it out. We always do. As usual, I have made a very detailed list of all the things I need to pack, things I need to do before I leave, things I need to buy, the whole shebang. This is where I'm at as far as packing is so far. I have a good start. A lot of this stuff I had in my suitcase from my England trip, so that was pretty easy to pull. I've added a few things and I definitely still need to add a bit more workout clothes, some other comfy things, just overall add to the mix, but I do predict I will be buying some stuff this contract. Hi, Coco. Hi. She is not happy with me. She doesn't want me to leave. I literally just got home. We're at a good place to start. We're gonna keep pulling as the days continue. This is a small pile of miscellaneous things I will be packing. Obviously I'm gonna add to this, but so far we've got some coffee, my milk frother, an umbrella, resistance band, wine opener, protein, deodorant, body wash, and some of my supplements. So while I was away for the last three weeks, I was trying to keep up with all of my healthy habits and daily non-negotiables. Of course I did enjoy my vacation and I ate a little bit differently than I do when I am on a contract. I definitely enjoyed some nice food. Um, I was a little bit more forgiving with workouts and movement. So it was really important for me to relax because it can be quite intense when I am away on a contract. However, there are certain things in my daily routine that I must do. A few of these things include daily walks. So I aim for 10,000 steps a day, journaling every day, practicing gratitude and vitamins. So I want to take a moment to thank Ritual for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So I began prioritizing taking vitamins this year and it has made a world of a difference. And more importantly, I added Ritual into my daily routine about a month ago. Ritual is expanding their products and recently launched Symbiotic Plus, which is a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic, which is designed to support gut, digestive and immune health. The capsules are also essenced with mint, which I've never seen before. And the Symbiotic Plus are also made traceable, showing you every labeled ingredient, supplier, and key studies that back up their vegan-friendly products. The best part is that it is a subscription, so you can get it delivered to your door every single month with free shipping. Ritual is offering 30% off your first month when you scan the QR code on the screen, or you can visit ritual.com slash jbow30 and use my code jbow30. There is really no better feeling than getting your hair done and having like a fresh new look. I'm aiming for like a light brown. I'm never going back full blonde, so I'm just gonna probably get some baby lights and then maybe tone it, but can't wait to see Carissa. It's been so long and I'm gonna feel so fresh heading into the contract. She is literally the only person I trust with my hair.
such a chaotic day. I literally left my hairdressers with my hair still wet because I had to run to the rink and make sure I got there in time before the session was over. So got my hair done, left there, went straight to the rink, tested out my blade placement. All was perfect, luckily, because I had like five minutes of the session to test it out. Bob put the permanent screws in and now I'm home. I freshened up quickly, I styled my hair and I'm really happy with how the hair turned out. I mean, it wasn't too drastic of a change, but I wasn't going for that. I really just wanted a few highlights and a bit of toning, so it's just nice and fresh. I love it. My camera just died, put a new battery in. But anyways, I'm going to dinner with my cousin. We're going somewhere in Williamsville. Here's my little outfit for the day, if I can show you. I'm feeling very Barbie today. Skirt is Princess Polly, top is Zara, and then I've got my little heels from Primark, and then the bag is Guess. I actually been wearing this the whole day, I just changed the purse and the shoes, but yeah. Bye baby, I love you. Be back soon, okay? really cute. I've been meaning to tell you that, but we haven't had one second of not talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, thank you. It's the next day, which means we are six days out. Something that was at the top of my list of things to do before leaving for the contract was seeing my grandma. So my mom and I visited her today. We were there for like two hours and it was really nice to see her. And grandma said, no weirdos. Stay away. None. Yeah. But that one picture down there that we have of Jordan, um, the curly hair, that one. Yeah. Oh, Darren saw that today and he's an Oh, mother, this one you have to put in on short. Look at the curl. <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's, that's Jordan. One. And him. I love the mission so much. I know, I love you. Tell him you got to get off more often. Yeah. So we did that today, but I actually bought a new MacBook because it was time. It was long overdue. The one I've been using is probably eight or nine years old. I mean, it's time has come. So we're gonna open the box together and I wanna try and set that up tonight because I will be leaving the current one I have at home and I just wanna have a fresh start for the contract. And I really do think it will help with efficiency. Exporting is gonna be faster. Editing is gonna be faster. Like this one's just really old and it's time to retire it. A lot of research I decided on the MacBook Air 13 inch with the M1 chip which is a huge upgrade from what I currently have and you know I had to get the rose gold technically it's considered gold but it is definitely like a rose gold and she is beautiful happy Sunday we are another day closer to leaving for my contract and I still have a shit ton to do. Paige is actually supposed to come over for a pool day today because it's absolutely gorgeous outside and she just recently moved to Buffalo for dental school. Um, so I don't know yet what time she's coming over, but I want to try and get as much done as I can before that. I've just come back from breakfast with my parents. It's their anniversary today and now I'm going to head out to Walmart and hopefully find some tape and some spray paint for my skates because I do have to spray those. Worst case, I can spray them when I get on board, but I really want to show up with tan skates. I just don't want to have white skates for install. The goal is to find tape to tape my skates and then I'm gonna spray paint the tape because it just tends to stick better and last longer. That's what I did with my last pair. So that's the aim. If I will find the correct color. Bingo, this is what I'm looking for. All right, here's spray paint. So they didn't have any leather spray paint. Um, so now I'm in the craft aisle. I might just have to paint it by hand, which is fine. Spray paint's just more convenient. 
there's this color, which might work. Because worst case, I can temporarily paint it and then respray them once I'm there. But at least I have something that will last me. Does that color look good? It looks pretty similar to what I have on my skates now. We've got all this kind of duct tape, but not the specific type of tape that I'm looking for. There's painter's tape, that won't work. I'm really striking out here, I'm not having any luck. Stop number two. Well, they have a bunch in stock. I just need to figure out what color would be best. Like this is the closest I can think. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be pretty dark. I think it's gonna it be called? too dark. Back from our errands, I managed to make it out of Target without getting a Starbucks drink, so. I came out with everything that I didn't go in for. So I went to Walmart solely for athletic tape to tape my skates and spray paint. I did not find either one. However, I did get other things and I did get things that I actually needed to go to Target for. So it wasn't a waste of a trip at all. Let's give you a haul. First up, Walmart. I got these little pink cups for storing my makeup brushes and whatever else. I got a shower curtain. I just feel like it makes the room more homey. I got a whiteboard. Always good to have for the cabin. BC, before COVID, we used to always have a lot of stuff in the cabins when you moved in. But after COVID, they wiped everything and threw everything out. So after the restart, you just kind of have to start from scratch. I don't really know if the cabin I move into will have a whiteboard. So I figured I'd just buy it now. Unrelated to the contract, but since I got my new laptop, I've been wanting to get a mouse for it. I just feel like it's going to make my life a whole lot easier. So got this one from Walmart for nine dollars and then i got some mechanical pencils now from target the target always gets me every time i got this cutie little fake plant for the cabin got some cotton rounds clear storage containers these are going to be for my makeup i really needed to refresh my beauty blenders so i just got two target brand ones and they're pink i got a new concealer because i'm getting low i've been really needing to get some face moisturizer i've been borrowing my mom so I just got this clean and clear dual action moisturizer. Well, last but not least I got some hair products so first things first I got some hair oil because I want to start doing the curly girl method again and I have all the product for that but I don't have oil to make it less crunchy so I got this Aussie one and finally I got some shampoo and conditioner. I just bought shampoo and conditioner when I got home from Wonder like middle of June, but I absolutely hate it. It dries my hair out so much, like I cannot do it. So I'm just starting from scratch and I got the Aussie kind. And I wanna say I had this kind on Wonder and I liked it, so that's everything. Hi, how are you? A few hours later we had a really nice walk around the park we went in the pool and then we sat in the hot tub which was the best part in my opinion because it got a little bit chilly the sun decided to disappear when we wanted to tan but anyways really nice catch up she starts dental school tomorrow which is insane i'm so proud of her so she just left to prepare for that which means i have the rest of the evening to get myself organized i have an endless list like the list just keeps growing and I am falling behind so I think what I'm gonna take care of now is I'm gonna actually finish packing progress with packing haven't yet put anything in the packing cubes but uh maybe that'll be tomorrow's task or maybe tuesday i feel like tuesday is probably the ideal day because there's just no need if i decide that i want to take something out i'll probably try to condense but it's so hard it's so hard like you think you've got packing down to a t but when you leave for eight to ten months at a time 
it's very difficult to pack minimally and I really want to save my money so I don't want to be doing shopping. And also I just like options. So, I mean, the reality is I'd love to be a minimalist, but I just, I don't think that's me. That's not my journey. But you know what? It's totally fine. We'll revisit that tomorrow. Bean got groomed today and she looks absolutely stunning. So gorgeous. Two very exciting packages have arrived. We've got some laces. And we got paint. So yesterday I actually taped my skates so they're all prepped and ready to paint with. I actually taped my skates in athletic tape that my dad brought home from work. If you didn't know, he's a baseball coach. So the tape is definitely different than what I used on my last skates because I just found something in Studio B. I honestly still don't know what the tape was exactly, but I'm hoping that this is gonna work. I've got my spray paint. This isn't leather spray paint, but should do the job on tape. Um, I got the color Sand from Rustoleum. So I think I want to like test it out before I spray my skates and I did get tan laces because last time it was such a hassle to dye my skates with coffee or maybe I did tea. Didn't turn out brilliant so I thought it would just be a heck of a lot easier if I just ordered a pair of tan laces. All right, let's do like a tester. I want to throw on an old t-shirt because I'm not trying to get paint all over myself. Not that the shirt I'm wearing is really nice or anything, but for all time's sake, I'm wearing my Stockholm tee from my Voyager contract. Here's the skates. From the camera, they probably look exactly the same. I took the laces out, of course, and taped the entire skate, and then I poked holes where all the laces will go through. I also taped the tongue as well, so I think they turned out pretty good. It's just a matter of how the paint is gonna look on the tape and also how well the tape will stay on my skates, but we're, we're hoping for the best here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little test strip, if you will, tape it on the bag that I got from packaging, and we're gonna spray it. But let's go outside, actually. Here goes nothing. Actually, that looks pretty freaking good. Oh yeah. For sure. That doesn't look too bad. They are very light for my skin tone, but under fishnets, they all look the same. I'm gonna let this dry and then maybe we'll do one more layer, but it's already looking really good. It's Wednesday, which means we're two days out from my departure. I brought my skates down to the basement yesterday to dry and I wanted to take a look at them, see how they are, if I need to do another layer or if I can put laces in. They look quite good, if we're being honest. I really don't think that they need another layer, but I do need to spray it with a seal so that it becomes waterproof or like water resistant, should we say? I've made it home. This is what I ended up on. It's the Kiwi Protect All Waterproofer. 
Well, this is a problem. The lid came off, and I can't seem to get it back on. There we go. Hold the can upright 7 to 10 inches away. Spray entire surface area evenly and thoroughly. Allow to dry one hour at room temperature and repeat. leave that for an hour and we're going to come check back on it. So while the skates are drying, I need to start packing up my second suitcase. So far the only thing I have in it is my Nespresso machine, but I really don't have that much left to pack so I feel like I'm going to have a lot of space in these suitcases, which is good. I had a first form order coming, but I don't know if it's gonna arrive in time for my departure and I was hoping to bring some protein powder and some protein bars and things like that. So if that doesn't come in in time, I'm gonna have a lot of space in my luggage. Call me crazy, but I came up with a new system and I actually weighed each packing cube on the scale because I wanna see how much each individual packing cube weighed. That way if I have to distribute them into a different bag, I know exactly how much they weigh. Based on where I am right now with this luggage, this is currently 27.8 pounds. And then I have to take into account how much the luggage weighs. So I would say it's about 30 pounds right now. But I think for now, we're just going to push this aside. Here we go. Luggage number two. All right. What do we got? Oh, we've got my absolute favorite pants that I have to wear for all skates. My blues, little laundry bag. And then one of my little storage cubes for my closet. I don't know why I didn't bring both home. I guess I'll start by wrapping the coffee machine in my giant sweatshirt so that it just has extra padding. Okay, that works. These are all the attachments for my coffee machine. Mind you, we'll just set these aside a minute. I got some jeans, shower curtain can go into here, laundry bag, I got these little storage cubes, whiteboard, I'll put this little set just on top, blues. We're gonna leave those for now and I wanna go check on my skates and how they're doing. Skates are good, now I'm gonna just lace them on up so that I can skate in them today and hopefully we should be good to go. But we're gonna see how the test run goes. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous girly. Cheers. That is good stuff. I've recently upgraded my drink. I'm getting the same order still, but with oat milk instead of almond milk, and it makes it that much better. So delicious. Today is Starbucks Wednesday, so it's 50% off all drinks on Wednesday after 12 o'clock at Starbucks. So I had to take advantage. I haven't gotten Starbucks in a while, so I thought today would be the day. My hair looks absolutely comical. I feel like maybe it's not coming up across as bad on the camera, but I can assure you, it looks ridiculous from skating. Pop. Good girl. Spin. Good girl. There you go. It's a few hours later. I got back from my walk with Coco, took a shower, called Savannah, we had a nice little catch up, and now I am ready to go out to dinner with my parents. It's the last supper before I head to my contract because my mom works till pretty late tomorrow night, so we're doing it tonight, and we are going to Russell's, so this is my outfit, and let's go have a nice dinner.
dinner was exceptional. 10 out of 10 experience, honestly, every single time that we go there. Like, it is always incredible. I got my comfies on now. I'm gonna take off my makeup and probably do another face mask, but I got a very exciting email that it's time to check in for my contract. So we're gonna do that together. Not me having a reminder to log my chronos, lol. Here is the email. So I'm on RCL Home. I have to sign this agreement, but the salary on it is wrong. So I don't know if I should sign it yet. I probably am gonna wait on that and contact my boss because that's interesting. I'm not gonna sign it until I hear from my boss. So I've sent a message to the office, so I'm just waiting to hear what they say because sometimes you have to sign it and then you sign an updated version once you get on board so it really doesn't matter or they will update it in the system and then I can just complete my check-in. But either way, I'm gonna wait to hear what they say because it's just never good to sign something that has incorrect information, so. I can't believe tomorrow is my last day home before I am on my way. I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can regroup and just organize myself for departure day, but... Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. Ritual is offering you all 30% off your first month when you scan the QR code on the screen or visit ritual.com slash jbow30 and use my code jbow30. I hope this gave you an idea of how I'm preparing for the contract um thank you guys so much for being here make sure to subscribe if you're not already because i will be posting a ton of travel content install process the whole nine yards so you don't want to miss out on all the uploads and also make sure to follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you want to see what i'm up to on a daily basis and in more real time but i love you guys to the moon and back thank you again for being here and i will see you in the next one bye guys